think I think it's a good moment because don't forget before Anderlecht we've been I think uh, five or six games unbeaten. We played also before Anderlecht. Uh, we we played I think uh, from the last six games we kept four times a clean sheet, and then against Anderlecht we just get punished for everything. And then yeah. you just saw also the on one side the the class and the quality of Anderlecht, but also the efficiency and we lacked that a little bit. And I think it was good for us to have a little bit of break so we can start again. I think. Uh, until the end of the year, until the 27th of December, we're still going to have, I think, 10 or 11 games. So 10 games, a lot of games to play, a lot of opportunities, and uh, we want to grab these opportunities. First of all, the competition is super tight. I think uh, we are just uh, four points uh, behind position seven. Uh, so everything is very tight, everything is very compact. Uh, we're going to face stand, uh, Standard now on Saturday knowing that they are very defensive orientated, playing in a 5-4-1, uh, waiting then in a deep block, from a strong deep block for transition opportunities, having a very good target player up in front with Sekiri, supported Eckert in behind, supported with Price, with offensive minded wingbacks, Kamara and Fossi. So that's a big, big challenge for us. I think uh, Standard suffered also a heavy loss, similar to us, yeah. against Ghent. So these are two teams uh, with the desire to, to bounce back and to fight back. And this is exactly what we want. I think uh, if we can put our things right on Saturday, if we can have, again, a good defensive structure, again, a clean defensive performance, then we always have this uh, transition threat because we just have some dangerous players up in front. And this will also be the plan uh, to attack Standard from the first whistle and to put pressure on them, and knowing that it will be very important not to concede a goal. Uh, and then from there on, we will move. But the plan is for surely, because we know the importance of, of standard, I'm always speaking about the next game, and we know how tight is everything. If we can manage to have a clean performance and to grab points, we can immediately jump again in the, in the ranking because everything is so compact. And this is also this is what we're aiming for. Kevin Denke was, of course, uh, a main topic over the last days, over the last one and a half, two weeks. And I have to mention that we are extremely proud, we are extremely happy about, about what, 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 is, what is about to happen with Kevin. Yeah. Uh, I think we are speaking about the biggest outcoming transfer of Cercle. And I believe it's also it's the biggest incoming transfer of the MLS. So it's just a confirmation First of all, of the development of Kevin Denke in the last yeah. two, three years and his explosion in his development. Yeah. But it's also his confirmation for us as organization, Cercle. We're the youngest team in Belgium. We define ourselves by giving a development stage, a development platform for young players. And I think uh, maybe Kevin is now the, the prime example of this. We have some very nice stories also before with Oli Deman, with Charlet, with Young Boho. Uh, with Felix Lamelechal, uh, with Jasper Darland, there are some guys, Ayase Ueda, and now I think uh, with the record signing of Kevin, um, he deserves it yeah. because he did fantastic over the last two years, and then automatically we deserve it as circle as an organization yeah. because we 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 supported him on his development path, and I think uh, this is a a huge success story, yeah. and we are all proud, we are all happy, and we're still going to enjoy Kevin, I think, until the 15th of December. Yeah. So I think we will see him a couple of times more on the pitch. And we all know Kevin. This is a good lad. This is a good yeah. guy. And he will try to give his best until the end. And I know it was not easy for Kevin the last weeks. It's just been hectical yeah. because if you sign one of the biggest contracts in history of Cercle, one of the biggest contracts in history of the MLS, something is going on. Then he also had the international duty, but he returned back with a big, big smile. Yeah. Uh, he was today again uh, back on the pitch. And like I said, it's yeah. a fantastic story for all of us.